Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be testing the 18 to 35 by Sigma, one of my favorite lenses because it's an f1.8 constant zoom lens on the brand new Canon EOS R. Let's do it guys. All right. To start off with, um, the Sigma 18 to 35, I think it's a really good lens. Um, if you've got something like a Canon 80D, um, this is an amazing lens. And if you if you're in micro four thirds, this lens is um, really good for videos because of the f1.8. It can actually capture a lot of light. So for 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 that reason alone, I think this is a really good lens to pick up. This lens isn't made for full frame cameras, but with this um, new lens adapter from Canon, you can actually use EFS lenses on here. So one thing I've noticed with this camera is um, when you're actually shooting with this in full frame, you're gonna wanna take off the, uh, the lens hood, especially when you go out to full 18 millimeters you're gonna start to see uh little like shadows or black a black square that goes around the whole the whole frame so when you take off the lens hood it's actually just a vignette that goes around the corner at 18 millimeters so you gotta be really careful when you're shooting this this lens on full frame mode um, especially around 18 millimeters what you want to do is stop it down to probably about 24 at least I would say you're still going to get some vignettes around the corner at 24 but it's really not that bad but if you're doing video and you're a cinematic shooter you can add in those crop marks at the top and bottom and I think 24 is absolutely usable for video so at 24 millimeters f1.8 full frame sensor boom that's a win in my opinion and of course if you want to go into um crop mode you can always go to 1.6 and that way you have you can go all the way to 18 millimeters 235 let me let me show you that again 18 millimeters 235 on crop mode there's no vignetting whatsoever but when you go to full frame mode and you go from 18 it's heavily vignette and then when you go up to about I'm gonna say about 24 it starts to disappear and then when you go up to 35 or even like 28 it's complete almost completely gone and then when you get to 24 35 I mean when you get to 35 it's completely gone so so this is one of those lenses. I feel like it's a really versatile lens and I'm excited to be able to shoot with this on this camera. One of my, like for a long time, I shot with the 5D2 and the 35-1.4 and that was kind of my go-to combo. So now that I have this camera here and this lens, um, I can shoot 35-1.8 on this camera in full frame and uh, I think it's gonna produce some really amazing photos and uh, I'm gonna take some photos and you can see what it's actually capable of I can't wait to actually take this out into the field and test it out what's up what is up so right now I've got this uh, camera on a Joby and I am testing this camera out as a vlogging camera with this lens the 18 to 35 let me know what you think um at the moment it's on the widest 18 millimeters on full frame now i'm in crop mode so with that said i think um crop mode at 18 is a little bit tight um it's really not too bad but i think it's a little bit tight so with this one i'm not sure if this is going to be a really good vlogging lens man i'm gonna have to test it out a bit more do a few more shots see what see what we come up with 
but I think this might be off the list as a vlogging lens. Boom. 28 millimeters. I think I'm pretty comfortable with 28 millimeters, but as a vlogging lens, I've, this is my arm fully extended, guys. Whew. But at a nice, comfortable kind of distance where I feel like I can hold the camera for a while. It's not too bad. My, my face takes up most of the lens, but I wish, uh, I, w I seriously wish I didn't have that heavy vignette because uh, my arm is like all the way out. Don't know if you can see this. Whoa! Whew. So, I've been thinking about getting the brand new Canon um, RF35 F1.8 lens as well to add to my kit but since you can shoot full frame at f1.8 I think I'm gonna stick with this lens just because it's a little bit more versatile you can shoot from 24 to 35 without the um, heavy vignette um, 18 to 35 if you are shooting crop so this is a really cool and versatile lens the only thing I wish this lens has that the actual brand new lens have is um, IS and it has that extra kind of uh, modal at the front of the lens but with that said this lens incredibly versatile I highly suggest it with this camera so to conclude if you've got the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8 I believe this is a really good camera for you because you can utilize the whole sensor at about 28 to 35 millimeters in full frame. If you do not want to use as a full frame lens, you can actually crop this in and use the lens as it was intended as a crop sensor lens, which will make it about a 24 to 50, which is also a really good lens as well. Like always, if you have a question for me about this camera, or this lens or anything else, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I'm here to help you guys, so do ask me any questions you have. I will be testing out a couple more lenses over the next couple days with this camera to see which lens I feel works best with this camera. Um, and I will be put putting out videos for you guys. Stay tuned, be cool, see you in the next one.